What's going on YouTube gang? It's Mel DFS coming to you live and direct here to get my favorite plays. We got a four game main slate. Hope everybody's having a great day. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. Let's get to my favorite plays. Go to the first play at point guard. We'll be looking at Chris Paul going against Golden State. He's 7,000 on DraftKings, 74 on FanDuel. To me, it's a great price tag. Averaging 35.3 phase points in the past three games of the season. Averaging 7 points, 5 rebounds, 10 assists a game. As Golden State allows an average almost 45 phase points to the position. He is also averaging 45 phase points in the past two home games going against Golden State. So I love this play for Chris Paul for today. Another play to consider is Trey Mann going against the Clippers. He's 55 on DraftKings. Too cheap on FanDuel at 4,800. Knowing that Giddy is out. And also, Shea Gillis Alexander definitely help out the usage for Trey Man in this position. It's in a good spot to consider for value. Going to our next play, going to our shooting guards. Jaden Ivey, he's 68 on DraftKings, 65 on FanDuel, going against Washington. He's averaging 35 phase points in the past three games, 17 points, 5.3 rebounds, 6 assists, and averaging 31 minutes a game. In Washington, they allow average 25 phase points to the position at home. But I can definitely see 30 plus points in this spot for today. Boomer Bust play is Luke Kennard. 42 on DraftKings. Bottom tier on Vandal. At 3,600. With the news that Morris and Paul George is out. Does helping usage. We spread out with Kawhi Leonard playing. I'm not sure if Kawhi will get more than 20 plus minutes. But Luke Kennard, he has done damage last season against OKC. Check him out in the last four games. He's giving you value for his price point. He's only averaging 23 minutes into the season, averaging eight points a game. So Luke Kennard is a boom or bust play. We'll have him a few lineups just to cover ground. I like the spot for him. Going to our next play, going to our small forwards. To pay up, we got Andrew Wiggins, 71 on DraftKings. He has 78 on FanDuel. He has been killing it lately so far into the season, averaging 42.3 phase points. 22.6 rebounds, 32 minutes a game as Phoenix allowed an average 21 phase points to the position at home. It is a tough spot, but he has been killing it so far like Andrew Wiggins for today. Another player to consider is Norman Powell. 3,900 on FanDuel is something to look at. Paul George out and Morris does help the usage. OKC is allowing an average 34 phase points to the position. So Norman Powell with his price point on both platforms, definitely someone to sprinkle in your lineups for today. Going to our next play, going to our power forwards. Christian Wood will pay up at 76 on DraftKings. He is pricey at 82 on FanDuel. But like the DraftKings price point, coming off the bench, averaging 44 phase points in the last two games, averaging almost 25 minutes a game. New Orleans is bottom tier against power four reserves. Going back to the well with Kyle Kuzma, 69 on DraftKings, 73 on FanDuel. He did throw up a dud last game, but he's in a good matchup against Detroit. He's averaging 19 points, 7 rebounds, 35 minutes a game, averaging 40 phase points in the past three games versus Detroit last season. As Detroit allows an average 32 phase points to the position, Kyle Kuzma, Great play to bounce back for today. And going to our last play, going to our center position. We got Jonas Valachunas at 78 on DraftKings, 76 on FanDuel. Going against Dallas with Zion, game time decision. Ingram is also out, averaging 40.7 phase points in the last three games of the season. 17 points, 13 rebounds, 26 minutes a game. And Dallas is allowing average 30 phase points to the position. So Jonas Valachunas is in play, more likely cash, but like this price point. Another play to also look at is DeAndre Ayton going against Golden State. He's 67 on DraftKings, 7,000 on FanDuel. If you want to pivot down, he's averaging 33 phase points for the season, 19 points, 8 rebounds, averaging 32 minutes a game. And Golden State is allowing an average 33 phase points for the position. He's also averaging 37.3 phase points in the last four games against the Warriors. So like this play, he is a safe spot in my opinion for his price point for today. These are my favorite plays. Like the plays, give a thumbs up. Any questions, comment below. Using Drive Dashboard Tools in the link in my description. Want to sign up? It is a dollar up for 30 days. When you sign up, get access to the NBA cheat sheet, sleepers in your studs. Click on the watch players. You get my plays up top for watch Mel DFS picks for either DraftKings or FanDuel. So I love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mel DFS, and y'all stay blessed. And I see y'all in the next video.